Uh, hi, my name is uh, Dominic. Uh, I am the producer and lead programmer of uh, our next uh, entertainment game, Sanity of Mars, which we will be showcasing uh, with you uh, today. Um, uh, yeah, well, uh, maybe you guys can also uh, tell a little bit about yourselves. You want to yeah, start, sure. uh, Matt? <laughs> Oh yeah, I see I'm, you're uh, just Matt. just waiting to to tell more about yourself. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm Matt. I'm uh, one of the co-founders as well. Uh, we all three are. Um, I'm a narrative designer uh, of Sandy of Morris, also narrative designer of uh, Woven, um, and uh, very excited to uh, to be able to uh, to showcase this with you today uh, and maybe answer some questions uh, here and there. I hope so. Fini. Uh, yeah, well, I'm uh, Vincent. I'm uh, one of the co-founders, and I have been working on this game mainly on the level design and on the game design part. And uh, I'm really excited to play it because it's something really different from what we did before. So can I please press the new game now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Over here we go. Oh, oh question. Clear your journal. Here we go. Always clear your journal. Uh, still missing the elevator mu music. <laughs> here we go. I haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. Some might blame the fog. Me? I'd say Green Lake truly is in the middle of nowhere. Hank's voicemail. He sounded urgent, yet unhinged. Early onset dementia. <sighs> Probably couldn't handle retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, dad. As you can see, uh, Santi of Morris is a really up tempo and happy game. <laughs> We're driving quite fast. Here we go. Oh, hang on, hang on. Still auto driving, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, research facility where Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. Nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. What the? Where did this guy come from? Does he think he's too? Ah! Hey! What? What the, what the fuck? Are, are you are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit! Oh shit! 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 Oh! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Yeah. So every good story starts with a car crash, right? <laughs> oh, God, my head! Straight into the action. Yeah. Seatbelt. <laughs> to get out of here okay so we added quick time events in this game and we did this for, uh, for the purpose uh, uh, at this moment to explain to the players um, uh, the controls of the game because we don't like uh, a lot of um, uh, interfaces coming after me <coughs> I'd better hide turn off the flashlight Move your ass, John. Uh, the guard. Okay. Cars are goner. 
So I can now uh, move freely. So I, I can't see anything, but I learned that uh, I can press flashlight. The F for flashlight. I can yeah. crouch, which was needed for the avoiding these guys, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was hide. I was hiding under this rock. What uh, what did those guys want uh, exactly? Well, yeah, a lot of a lot of weird stuff happening. <laughs> God, my lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing seems broken. <sighs> God, where am I? Green Lake. Near my father's house. <laughs> Maybe I can get there. I'm not seen. I Who think, are uh... those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. I think John so is quite, like the uh... Sorry? You, you go. I think John is quite a lucky guy. If I had a car crash like that, I would have broken... <laughs> well everything yeah he was very lucky the car is wrecked but he has nothing <laughs> and on fire well yeah. i think he hit his head oh yeah yeah, yeah. so that's true so here we can talk about this flashlight because this is important right the whole uh, flashlight thing is one of the main game mechanics because now i'm actually quite lost but i am safe from enemies yeah but there aren't any enemies here no but maybe there are i don't know yeah. okay yeah we so in this game we wanted to uh, play a lot with uh, light and darkness uh, and the uh, par parallax between it that if you are in the light everyone can see you directly and um, if you keep in the dark uh, you're hidden, but um, in, 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 if you're uh, getting paranoia, uh, being in the dark uh, is really not a good uh, place to, to stay sane. So you, as a player, you have to juggle between these two uh, uh, states, light and darkness. Yeah, so I can also see that this, um, this effect I see this weird twisting of shadows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I look there in the corner, you can see it a little. No, I can't see it now. I can see it. Uh, maybe you're it's... not. Uh, maybe John is still uh, too sane. <laughs> maybe later on, uh, when, uh, when John is a little bit more uh, paranoid. Uh... So I, I'm now relaxed because I saw it when I just had the car yeah. crash. Yeah, but maybe you were getting stressed because uh, because of those uh, two uh, guys that were coming over to see where you went. So there, behind the scenes, there's a whole whole a lot of things going on to to make sure that we uh, we got taps on the stress level of uh, of John, and uh, and you as a player will uh, will be confronted with that as well. I found the roads, so. Uh... Oh. It's all going to be okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Here comes the van again. Uh, where, where can I go? Run! The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Run! Oh, I have to oh, no. smash no. the no. W. Run. Run away. No. no problem. Here we go. Where are you Whoa. going? No, don't go there. <laughs> oh, turn off the flashlight. Okay, so they didn't see you. I think I lost them. But you're you're right. I can I see the. the yeah, the now trolling. that's very. Yeah, you can see this warping shadows. Should I put it? Put the flashlight. I can keep it off. Well, if you keep what it on. Wearing masks. Some kind of don't get military some, outfit. Don't go crazy. No military that I know. Oh. God. This is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I can't handle the stress. Okay, so here we have, uh, it's here we have John. We wanted to become a cop, but he couldn't. And he's, uh, <laughs> he's returning to Green Lake. 
because of some voicemail he got from his father. And as suddenly as he's there, he's driven off the road and all these things happen. Guys with masks on, they try to, to catch him. They're looking for him. They know him by name. Yeah. Something weird is happening in Rangirin Lake. And um, an incentive of Morris, part of the story is finding out what exactly is going on. And this is uh, the very first 3D model that one of our interns made. <laughs> who was it, actually? <laughs> who made it? What? Who made it? Yeah, who, who made it? Tom made it. Nice. Go, Tom. And, um, Props to Tom. Dominic, yeah. in this demo, this is quite calm here. Yeah. But last time I played, there were some guys here. The two yeah. guys that ran in. Yeah, currently I'm I'm working on a system where um, uh, the, you saw the two guys uh, who were running past you. They uh, in in this demo they magically uh, disappeared, but in real life they wouldn't. Um, so in uh, in the current version of the game, um, which we're currently working on, oh wait, <laughs> what was that? Okay, so so really strange things are going on. But um, in the, the the current version, um, right on this spot, um, the two uh, agents uh, that the, of the guys that that came running past you uh, are are actually standing here, and you have to to sneak around them. Um, but they have flashlights, so if they and they're looking for you, so it's quite difficult to get past them. Um, so you really have to stick in the shadows uh, and hope they, they don't actually uh, uh, see you. So um, this is something we're still uh, 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 keep yeah, hidden from you uh, for now. <laughs> yeah, but there will be, be a thing in, the, yeah. in the full game. I think so that's this... quite interesting because that really shows the mechanic where you have to hide in darkness and turn off your flashlight so the guys don't see you. It's your first encounter where you really have to uh, play with the uh, darkness and light. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, we, something, we said... something happening. Uh... Oh. Research Institute. Look at all those lights. Wait, those men in suits talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the Institute. Is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. So uh, in the early days of prototyping this game, we uh, we said a lot of games actually revolve uh, around conflict. Um, shooters, uh, beat 'em ups. Um, there's an enemy, you have to punch him in the face probably multiple times, but then you win. Uh, you get the girl, you get the guy, or you get you get the person and uh that's how life works right yeah so sometimes <laughs> um and we wanted to uh woven wasn't about conflict either um there was very little little conflict there and uh and for this game too we, we want to uh the player to dodge conflict so uh try not to get in the way of guys with guns because well, the, you, you the, know you, all you've real... got is a flashlight the real problem is that if you come across guys with guns, they kill you. Yeah. Instantly. Hank's yeah. house. Something's off. The lights are out. Something happened here. This is going to be bad. Yeah, it's going to be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. Write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. Maybe it contains a message. Okay, Hank. Where are you? Okay. Press step. That's new. Yeah. I'll write down all the clues and facts I find in my journal to help me keep a clear head and solve problems. Let's see if I can construct a timeline of events. Okay, so I can see uh, we have a journal, a tab, and a timeline tab. So there's nothing in my journal. And let's see what's in it. Girl sword information in chronological order. 
I should be on the lookout for things that stand out. Files, pictures, audio tapes, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> for now, all I got going is the voicemail. Let's have a listen. Yeah, so Shall we? What, what we're going for is that we can add things to the journal that John has to solve. So the, the, a door is closed and he has to find a, a key or, or something, well, uh, uh, something like that. Um, obstacles. Obstacles uh, uh, that he has to overcome. Um, but we also want to uh, give the player an oversight of the things that are actually happening throughout the story of the game um, and have a sort of um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, timeline over overview of, of all the, the important um, uh, key moments in in during the, the story in which you uh, which you progress and, and, and that way we give a chance for the player to to kind of go puzzle themselves so you can cross-reference things in different timelines uh, to make up your own conclusions about about what's happening, uh, all depending on, on whether you've, you've found everything or not. Uh, and so you might draw the wrong conclusions. Um, but we will really wanted to put the player in the in the position of being a bit of a a bit of a detective yourself, actually, yeah. uh, without just chewing uh, or pre-chewing or just just making it ready-made for you and, and delivering you the answers. We want you to go puzzle yourself. So shall we uh, have a listen to the to what the voicemail was? Yeah. So his dad. Context. It's his dad left the voicemail. Yeah. Oh shit! Voicemail. Ah, uh, this is Hank. Well, Jonathan, I hope this message gets to you. You can't really rely on secure telephone connections anymore these days, you know. What with the satellites and all looking down. You'd think those guys know what they're doing. Anyway, I really think you should come over here. We can do some real stargazing with that old telescope of mine. I have just the spot where we could go. It's really in the dark, but it's amazing what one can see there. I've spent almost all of my time there these past weeks. Before we go there, we'll have to do a number on things first. But don't worry about it. We'll listen to some music to get into the groove. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. I know you were afraid of the night as a little kid, so maybe bring a flashlight or something with you. I'm sorry to leave you in the dark like this, but I have to go now. I have guests coming over soon. I have to prep the house. I'm sure you'll brighten up the place as soon as you get here. Home is where the hearth is. Is it not? Say hi to Barbara for me, will you? I'll always regret giving her the cold shoulder. Drive safely. Mm. This is a weird, weird voicemail. There's a lot of weird sentences in here. Yeah, home is where the hearth is. Yeah, and and I also noticed the some music to get into the groove why would he say that so we definitely have to check out if uh, we can play some music somewhere yeah so this this is the timeline but we only have one thing at the moment so let's check this later when we have some some more uh, items hey you can't do anything uh, can you can you interact with uh, with ah. okay so this is uh, our, 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 uh, one of our most important uh, uh, ways of interacting with the, uh, the environment. Um, we want to make light uh, really uh, important. So if there isn't any light shining on an object, uh, you can't do anything with the object. Um, so right now we're shining with our flashlight on this mailbox. Um, and if we if we don't shine on it, uh, the mailbox isn't, uh, uh, we aren't able to interact uh, with it. But um, also, when, when there's just uh, a big light shining down on the object, we don't need our flashlight. So in this way, um, we can hide ourselves by disabling the flashlight, but enabling lights somewhere else in the game. Um, so enemies can spot us, but, but we can still interact with objects. So I will click at all these letters. When was the last time Hank emptied this box? Yes, when? 
there's a little thing that annoys me with this mailbox and that's the fact that I believe uh, we don't have these mailboxes in the Netherlands but uh, if there is a, a new mail the red handle should point up uh, signaling uh, the, the, the owner that it has a new mail Right. Maybe it's a clue, Dominic. Old mail. This is it old could, mail. It could be a clue. Yeah. Oh, is it a clue? <laughs> it's a clue. <laughs> oh, such an annoying clue. It's, uh, is Yoshimini <laughs> still uh, in the chat? Yeah, yeah, I believe he is. Look. There's yeah. vines growing on the house. Oh, he will be so happy. Sometimes it's little details uh, that, that, that really take a lot of time. So build, building a house like is one it. thing, but putting vines on it, well, that's a whole nother business. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what's pointing out of the, the chimney or something right there? Can you zoom in? It looks like a... Big cigarette. Is, big cigarette, yeah, that's definitely it. <laughs> Has to be. Hank always used to smoke lots of cigarettes, so... Of course, he uh, is uh, kind very of happy with, with Oh, it's a telescope. Oh, okay. Well, you should do some stargazing. Wasn't that in the voicemail? Yeah, oh, yeah. so we will definitely check that thing. Yeah. This I can actually click on this gigantic... Bus? Yeah, van. Didn't know Hank kept a van. Why would he need it anyway? He lives here all alone. Probably one of his tinkering projects. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, right. It doesn't that look like it would work anymore. Crazy Hank. So, so uh, Matt, can you tell us something about the the bond that John and Hank have, the relationship? Yeah. So, so Hank is Hank is um, is, is John's father, but he doesn't call him dad or anything. Um, not even that. But they live hours and hours apart. And, um, and their relationship isn't, isn't that good. So at this point in time, they haven't seen each other for quite a while. They write letters occasionally, but ever since the divorce, uh, things were uh, difficult between them. So it's kind of weird to, uh, for John to have that voicemail uh, come to him and say, hey, come over, uh, let's have another cozy weekend because, well, he doesn't remember having any of those yeah. company weekends. So, um... I can click on this thing. Someone taped the door. That's bad. What happened here? I'm not getting in this way. So John doesn't really know his way around the house. Um, but he can see uh, the, the front is boarded up. And, uh, and the tank doesn't appear to be here or at least the lights are off um then again you get the voicemail saying he would be here so <laughs> just, just a random scarecrow, scarecrow. <laughs> a random scarecrow guarding the pumpkin patch it's it's important to have pumpkins in your game i think yeah, every, every game should have pumpkins oh damn this is a well, reference to woven right yeah, it's the pumpkin patch. <laughs> I didn't even know it. <laughs> this is. <laughs> That's why it was added later because I just oh, found no. this pumpkin patch and I thought I need to. Oh, add horrible, it. horrible, horrible people. Okay, so for <laughs> everybody who doesn't know woven, in uh, woven you you play a stuffy uh, a, 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 a bull and elephant, and to cross uh, rivers you have to step on uh, a pumpkin to to cross the stream. Uh, twice, I believe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe even more. <laughs> so, okay, so we got some interactables here. Here's the door, so let's go through the door. Locked. Maybe there's a key. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know that it was locked. Well, don't I don't we have a key? <laughs> Where has we son? Don't, we so don't have a key. We don't have. Oh, wait. We have a new journal kitchen entry. The kitchen door is locked. Okay. Looking for a key. Yeah, okay, so, but... so we now have a, uh, also an image of a key. So we know we we are looking for a key, right? Yeah. 
So will it be in the boat? Or will it be... Yeah, so be I, I always hide my, my keys in, in a canoe. Yeah, oh, I, I'm more more of a, I'm more of a gnome man. Yeah. Yeah, not a pumpkin uh, man. Old canoe. Well, I'm not a pumpkin I man. I remember him yelling at the store manager because it had a scratch on it and he wanted a discount. <laughs> he always had a temper. Oh, Hank, always have a temper. It could also hey. be just lying around. What is that? Okay. <laughs> you see that? So this is my favorite <laughs> effect in the game. <laughs> So, there <laughs> are. I'm sure I saw something. No. Uh, I'll talk about Anything. it uh, a little bit uh, more later. So, so not go. the canoe and not the gnome. Oh, I... wait. The key. Must be the key to the kitchen. So what we want to do is, it's not enough just to click on objects and you're done, go home. Um, but we want people to really examine. Uh, the objects you find, because there might be hidden clues within the clue. The key fits. It's dark inside. Okay. I don't like it. At least it's... What's happening? Yeah, your flashlight is uh, flickering. Yeah, my... Hey, hello. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> I know someone who does know, but uh, so I'll just check everything. Yeah, click click on everything. There, uh, there's a, there's stuff to check like this. I don't know why I would check it, but uh, maybe there's a key uh, beneath it. <laughs> and sometimes a teapot is just a teapot. A teapot, yeah. Hmm. Or a gherkin is just a gherkin, right? Yes. yes. A gherkin? Gherkin. A gherkin. <laughs> gherkin? Is that the Yeah, gherkin. <laughs> is that really the proper name? That's the word, I think so. Gherkin? Gherkin. Uh, I don't, I don't. Pickle. Pickle. Pickles, 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 yes. Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Okay, what's this? A plate. Just a... I... What? Oh my God. What, what was that? Breathe, John. Breathe. Hey, you don't have to training. fish high. Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body and you hit your head badly. You're spooked. That's all. Okay. God, I can't handle this. So, John is seeing things? <laughs> right? Oh, well, at least there's something weird going on. That, that's far I can tell. to say everything looks uh, normal but ah remember the voicemail uh, music thing oh yeah maybe this this will help us get into the groove i can't do anything actually hmm. oh here's something these documents hold important information i should write this down so, so that's a timeline thing, right? Ah, yeah. I yes. don't have to Where actually it? write it down. That's convenient. Shall I click it? Please do. Whoa. Okay, so this is a little thing called Alpha Demo. Um, and <laughs> some of two? the people at Alter Ego Games really, really, really like to write long essays. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's right F here. He has a, a yellow bl blue <laughs> scarf around his neck. He likes to write long, <laughs> long text. The longer, the better. And then he asks me, uh, "Hey, is there a limit to the length I can uh, write for uh, to to add it to the journal?" And then I, I mistakenly said, uh, "Well, uh, technically, no." <laughs> In my defense, <laughs> this text should actually be on the document. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, you're on the visual. <laughs> yes. This, this, this text should be on the visual. So and, this should uh, be I there. And that should be there. Here later. <laughs> but when I get, I, when I have the time. I will, this will short. I promise. Scouts are. Because this would fit even less on this paper. Yeah, yeah but it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't really important information. It's just his, 
his uh, yearly employee evaluation of your father. And it writes some stuff about what your father is like, and it's it's interesting. And it should be in there somewhere, but not not an essay. I will I will I will fix I will yeah. fix the essay. Okay. Okay. Doris uh, working. Yeah, nice. It was years after the divorce that we started writing letters. I remember him talking about all the time he spent fishing. We sure as hell never went fishing together. I I hear a little grudge. John is yeah. begrudged that that they never went fishing. I think. Hmm. There's stuff here, but there's too many options. I'm. Uh, I can go, go up. Go up. Up. I can go down. Up? Yeah. So, uh, TK is saying in the chat that longer is actually better. So, uh, I'm not really sure what he's, he's talking about uh, there, but, but, I, but I feel support in a way. Just uh, randomly walking. Hey, I'm on the balcony. So is this a, a good time to talk about the statue that was behind us uh, a while ago? I yeah, can. Just, just, just the statue. goodest time then. Oh, One second, I'll pick up. Yeah. Oh. Recorded tape. We should, should keep, keep our eyes, eyes out for this. these. Yeah, so... There was a statue behind us, I believe. And this is actually one of my favorite... Um, effects we have at, uh, at the moment um, because these scare the shit out of me every time I'm I'm testing the game because I forget that uh, there's a, a system that can uh, instantiate random uh, events and we're still developing all the events um, uh, but one of these the events we currently have in this alpha demo are those statues um, but the chance that they are spawned is uh, well, still in alpha. So sometimes they uh, instantiate often and sometimes uh, not as often. And sometimes you're just uh, trying, uh, 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 building a cinematic or testing a cinematic and, um, and you're just turning around and suddenly there are three of those statues standing behind you. And as a developer, I don't like that kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh, well, it's 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 really good that when I when I play this um, half the time I I get hit by the jump scares I actually know are there. So, so do you do you still do you still get that Dominic when you play the game? Do you get scared by your own jump scares? Well, this image is it's, it's it's funny. I should put it in my uh, journal. Since we are developing this game, I have a lot more nightmares. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> This is true. I, so, I am not. Hmm, sorry. This this is what sacrifice is. This is what being an indie developer is about. <laughs> Dominic has nightmares for you guys, so, so we can deliver a, a wonderfully scary game. That's Dominic is sacrificing all his sleep. Not not feel pressured or anything, but I know I I, I would I would wish list that <laughs> if, if I knew the developer was having nightmares for me. To, yeah. To say. yeah. It's, it's a really true, uh, uh, Lady Manatee. Um, I, I'm not really a, a, a guy who gets scared uh, often and, and easily, but um, for some reason, because uh, we are working on this uh, every day, um, and we have to also con conceptualize uh, creepy stuff, and, 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 and um, we're doing, we have to imagine crazy uh, horrific stuff every day uh, and and for some reason it seeps through my night rest <laughs> and uh, I didn't realize it uh, until uh, I awoke <laughs> a few times in a row at night wow. well luckily I don't have that problem no no maybe I'm just a <laughs> scaredy cat 
<laughs> Shall I click this thing? I want to click it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. Click away. Click it. What is it? Part of this photograph is missing. Oh. Okay. Again. Part of this photograph is missing. Yeah, I right. think we part need of part. Photograph. I found you... half of a photograph. Oh, so we now see that the, the, the objective of opening the door, the kitchen door, is actually crossed off. So there's there's nothing to do over there. <laughs> that door open? is, is open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so photograph. Uh, there, here was a door. Wow, it's a code. What's in the attic? Yeah, what is in the attic? So because this goes the, to... the attic is the place where we saw the telescope. So here's uh, the code thing. Oh yeah. I'm still missing something. Uh, it looks like it's it's uh, turned off. Needs power and a four-digit code. So okay. We, we... We want people to wander around the house, but we also want to help them a bit. So we're not going to tell you exactly how to fix everything, but we will always write in your journal something that will help. So John is there with you. Okay, so I shouldn't play anymore, right? Else I will give away all the secrets. Um, I don't know. We could we could play. We could play to the end. Depend okay. on what wants. Maybe, maybe a question from the one watching. Would you, would you rather you play yourself to the end, or would you want to see us play to the demo's end? Let us know in chat. Or if you might have any other questions, ask us in chat. So this isn't creepy. This reminds me of a lot of uh, horror movies and stuff. Yeah, I really don't hey. enjoy these flickering kind of lights. So we can Asshole. we could see Recorded it over there. Fixed. When the light was shining, the, the tape was actually uh, Blinking. outlined. So we didn't need the, our flashlight. There are, there are two, uh, two questions in, uh, in chat, and they're both... Uh, one of them is for you, uh, Dominic. Um, Almaza asks, why is there a statue in your room? I don't have a statue in my room. Where is the statue? Oh, you paint. Almaza, I think you are referring to the huge pile of snowboards behind Dominic, but it indeed doesn't appear to be ah. a statue. Yeah. It, it's not a statue, it's, it's three snowboards. Um, <laughs> So, uh, normally, snowboards are just uh, really annoying okay. things uh, that are just laying in the way. Um, so, I had to build a, a, a rack uh, where I can put them in so they are uh, hidden away. You built it yourself? I actually did. Yeah, I did. Uh, Elmaz was just messing with you. Um, uh, Princess Paranya asked, and this might be interesting for... Um, of Vincent. Um, speaking of inspiration, did you guys use any movies or games as inspiration for Morris? So I think we all have different answers to that. Um, Vincent, what was one of the games or movies that influenced you or inspired you? Um, one of my inspirations? Yeah. Um, well, it's a bit of a mixture because the exploration part i really i really like these old games yeah these old adventure games like uh, monkey island and uh, day of the tentacles very old actually and i like that kind of exploring thing so that's a part of the mechanic that you see like you can find screwdriver but you don't know where to put it this kind of thing and Atmospheric wise, it's more based on on horror games, other horror games. But I want it to be a bit more, um, let's say, sophisticated. You know, the the balance between story and horror. So it's not a jump scare heavy 
kind of game, but it's more story driven with uh, with scary elements. Just so a that, hint of statues behind you and such. There's nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, that, but, uh, example. And for you, Dominic, any games or movies in particular that inspired you? Um, well, uh, w one thing, Matt, can you perhaps uh, disable the the Discord uh, noise uh, suppression uh, thing? Uh, because uh, for some reason your voice uh, starts cutting out uh, from time to time. But um, uh, for inspiration, for me, um, well, I don't like horror games. <laughs> um, I do, but... Uh, that they they often have the issue for me that in the the beginning I I really dig them they are really atmospheric and they scare me shitless and stuff like that but then later on they get uh, repetitive and um, I don't really like repetitiveness uh, in in my games um, but I really did like I, I wouldn't say it's a it's a horror game but uh, Alan Wake the the I believe the one of the um, games by Remedy. Uh, it's a little bit older, but uh, there also was a part in the game where you really had to play with light to uh, um, win the, the conflict with, with enemies. This image is important. It was really uh, atmospheric in, uh, uh, in that way. So I think that's some kind of inspiration for me. And, and furthermore, I really enjoy adventure games. Uh, looking around, finding clues, uh, figuring out the, the, the story, you know, what's, what's going on. So, well, that's a big part of, of this game. But it also was uh, a big part uh, in Woven. The, the, the genre is, is totally different, but the, the core uh, is, is, is still uh, very alike, and uh, and for you, Matt, what uh, what inspires you uh, like with this uh, story? Hey, wait. In Sorry. This is the uh, the excessive. photograph uh, part. Even for Hank. Yeah. That's In the fridge. Def definitely. Yeah. Here, part of the photograph is missing. Yeah. So. I found half of a photograph. Ah. So that's that one it and one has to be linked. Yeah, go, Matt. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Matt. Uh, right. I'm here. I'm. I'm. I am focused. Um, so, inspiration for me for the story. Um, well, I don't think. I don't think any. Um, any game or book really in particular that I can name that that, that I can say. Well, that is my. That is my go-to. Um, I just sort of try to get into the head of uh, of John, um, and, and and write about what's happening and uh, have him react to all the uh, mysterious but also quite frightening stuff that's uh, that's happening for him. Um, so I, I wouldn't say uh, I was inspired by a certain game or movie. So, so sometimes I am. Um, but, but for this, no, I'm, I'm, I'm working character-based, uh, style-based, uh, and, and working a lot with the team, um, and uh, and working from everyone's vision to see what what this game could be about. It's about solving okay. stuff like this. Ta -da. There's a number written there. Here, number eight. 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 Which is probably part of the... Here it is. I found number eight. Keep it. Mm -hmm. Oh. What was that? I hear these confusing sounds. Somebody's banging on a door. Here was uh, something I didn't press because I uh, didn't want to interrupt you. There's a fuse missing. Yeah, so we need power. Wasn't there a junction box outside? Yes, I think so. Uh, next to the van. Yeah. You think that's the power? Well, it's it's a junction box. 
that's quite creepy the gnome over there if you if you're not expecting a gnome it's oh we should totally statue. have have moved to move that around like a bit yeah. of the, the doctor who uh, <laughs> uh, uh angels. angels yeah yeah, yeah. And then when you when you return that the gnome there's the gnome looking at you no there's no gnome no 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 um we spawn gnomes everywhere okay sorry here this one there's a there's a part in uh in the latest uh, game from remedy uh control where you go uh, come into a room and the whole room is filled with clocks it's also really creepy just clocks everywhere hasn't been cut off or anything so why is there no light coming from the house oh so this was not an issue <laughs> no this is not an issue okay do, 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 so we oh, have oh, oh, oh. Uh, we have in the Steam chat with us uh, uh, Kim Almaza, who, uh, who did a lot of uh, the narrative design actually uh, for the background story. I think of the basis of the of the backstory and a lot of the details uh, all originated with her, um, and uh, and she said she's uh, inspired by the Stephen King books. So. Maybe I should be reading a little bit of those. Hey. Home is where the um, hearth is. This is the clue. Yeah, but we did hear uh, um, Hank talk about it. Yeah. In the voicemail. So the, the whole know. voicemail is, is, is a hint to all the stuff that he uh, has done here? in his house to confuse. Who? Yeah, why did he uh, do that? And uh, we did the music thing, but that wasn't correct, right? No. But I also saw this through the window. Oh, wait. What's that? Looks like the order of a code. This looks it's like hilarious to watch you play code. <laughs> knowing you know all this stuff. What's this? I have no idea. A gnome! Oh no, there's no gnome. <laughs> we have to put it in. It will take one week of programming, but there will be a gnome on this couch. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. like the, the gnome in um, um, Half-Life 2. Oh yeah. Episode 2, I believe, where you have a gnome in the beginning, in the first level, and if you take it with you the whole game, you get a special achievement. It's, it's the same really with difficult. the... This laugh uh, cube, remember that? Yeah, from, uh, yeah, from a portal. Yeah, you could also take it completely to the end. Uh, yeah, but it, it changed all the puzzles and how you had to solve them. Yeah, so I uh, have the power. This part of the house has power now. Don't get the power! <laughs> At That's least uh, your right. voice isn't cutting off anymore. <laughs> Loud and clear. Okay, wait, let's check this. Okay, we solved the photograph, which had a, a number. We're getting a real uh, filled uh, journal. Uh. The head of this screwdriver is weird. Okay. Oh, this we also solved. Found the fuse. So we're mainly doing these two now. Yeah. Okay. Um, which is... Hey, what was that? Upstairs, probably. We haven't been everywhere. I have been here, but I didn't really look around. There's some nasty goo in the bath. If there are any uh, new people joining us uh, in stream, we are Alter Ego Games, that's Vincent playing, and Dominic, uh, lead developer and producer, uh, commenting, and me, narrative uh, commenting. Uh, ah. We're uh, working on Sanity of Morris. We've been working on it for a half year now. The demo is on Steam, so you can actually play this game, uh, this part of the game yourselves, but after stream, after stream, and uh, and have a look for yourself. Uh, the final game will probably change. Lines will get rewritten. Gameplay has already been added. Um, or removed. Or, <laughs> or removed. Uh, as is the thing with uh, indie game development. Um, and it's all was made possible by our uh, great and fantastic publisher, Sticky Lock, Sticky Lock Games, um, that has helped us uh, create this game so far. Ugh, not touching that. 
Is that oil or something? What is this? It's nasty. I would yeah. say a combination of puke, urine, and a water shader. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's only a water shader. Well, actually, I know what it is. It isn't actually uh, a shader. Oh, it's just a normal... Uh, it's just black. It's just black. Oh, I, no, I pulled the It's funny the because, plug. Uh, Matt, I asked you to build me a water shader and then you said, eh, I'm too busy. And then uh, we didn't sense. use your water shader. So, so do you still want me to build you a water shader? No, no, I don't well, want we, a shader. We had some issues with this because we had a better water effect, but you could see the seven and people were wondering why won't I just write down the seven? Because I see the seven. Yeah. But do so I we're really still uh, figuring it? out this part. No. I only need one more number. So we've got uh, we've got Bo. What else in chat saying? Wouldn't it be a fun idea to stream someone to play it who hasn't played it before for the actual yep. jump scare moments um, when you still get fun behind the scene facts? Yeah. Well, thank you for the tip, uh, Bo. What else? But this, did, this you could have uh, suggested before we played the game. <laughs> um, and there is actually a, a great uh, a YouTuber who uh, did a Let's Play uh, of Sanity of Morris. His name is Blabbermouth, um, and he did a video, um, which I could probably I'll type his name in in chat so you can uh, you can uh, check him up. But um, but that's a really really nice playthrough, and you get him uh, emoting uh, everything. He, he doesn't know a thing. He's just, he's just going. Heads in first, and uh, it's a really, a really a nice to watch. Looks like there's a number. It's okay. Six. It's okay, but what else? Yeah, we're not mad. <laughs> Just disappointed. <laughs> so I think I have everything. I don't have the the order of the code, or do I? Well, you have the you have the eight, you have the six, you have the. You have, don't have the four. No. I do have it. No, you don't have it. You you opened oh, the you opened I the found paper. the order four a four digit number. <laughs> yeah. well, I that's thought not I had all the numbers. So I that's need a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? But you said you don't have the four? Yeah. So you don't know if it's a f oh there is a four. <laughs> it is a four. I know. <laughs> that was just luck. Uh, looks like yeah. there's a number. Just guessing. Here. Just guessing. <laughs> you don't have the four. And the I, do, I do have the order of four digits. The order four of we should put another four here. The order four a num number four digit. Never mind. Uh, it's alpha. It's it's a little thing called alpha demo. I should keep my eye out for these. Can I think we, I have uh, everything. Look at this. Wow! Look at the Christmas lights. Timeline. I want to see this. What's this? Yeah, so this is a picture about, well, Matt, can you tell us? <laughs> well, this is actually, it's an, it's an early picture of Hank and, uh, and, and, and your mother um, when they were still happily married. And it actually tells a story that they were at one point truly happy, um, but their, their relationship has gone uh, south long ago. So this picture, picture takes place somewhere in 1990 and uh, it's... Uh, I think the year before Jonathan is born. Yeah, probably. Yeah, three mm -hmm. years before he's born. Yeah. Oh, here's where he bought the house, I think. So, so actually, you you guys don't see this right now, but um, but there are several timelines you will be able to build up in the game. I'm not going to tell you everything about it but this timeline sort of construes the uh, chain of events having to do with hank that is why the icon in the, the top left is uh is a man wearing a pair of glasses bottom uh, left bottom aka left. hank bottom left bottom left yeah bottom left. yes and um and you'll you'll be able to find other timelines and uh, items relating to other timelines so you might can 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 
jump in between. But um, in, in, in this level, the first level, you find a lot about Hank, of course, because you're in his house. But no more uh, delay. I'm going to click the code. I think I have everything. Wait. I have everything, I think. Four digits and the order. Um, the keypad needs power. Uh, well, ah, I have power yeah. because it's now glowing here. That was the fuse. I, I put the fuse in the fuse box. Click it. Ready? Here we go. Got it. Whatever's upstairs, this door kept people out. It's a very or smooth, silent door. <laughs> yeah, alpha. Uh, <laughs> We're <laughs> still <laughs> missing some sound effects. Yeah. So is somebody working on these sound effects at the moment? Yes. We have our yeah. amazing uh, audio designer, Ziggy, a.k.a. Vortigum, who is uh, currently working on the sound effects and the music of the game. In the background, we have a, a, a constantly um, a soundscape of uh, intertwining uh, uh, audio uh, of our music. Um, it's it's a system that the higher the stress of John, the more intense the music gets. Uh, or if you are being chased, the music gets really high 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 paced. Um, it's a it's a well, I, I really enjoy making these kinds of audio systems uh, where the music is really organic, uh, organically placed in the in the world, so it doesn't interfere with your uh, gameplay, but it enhances it. And Ziggy uh, makes these uh, things uh, awesomely. Yeah, Fort Forticon is also the composer that worked with us on uh, on Woven. He's really really talented, um, and I believe he has his own SoundCloud. Uh, soundcloud.com slash Vortigon um, where you can actually listen to more of his music um, and the thing he composes uh, when he when he isn't creating awesome stuff for Alterigo games. Just a tip. I can't close the door. So you're you're currently closing all the doors? Yeah, yeah there's, a dra there's a draft. Yeah, that's because you open, you kept the fridge open. Oh, seriously? Yeah. No. Yes, I did. That's the worst one. That explains everything. The chills in my neck. Um, yeah, so think... what, what we currently uh, uh, don't yet have in this demo and, and we do in, in the currently uh, or in the, in, the, in the development builds that we currently have is... Uh, uh, wait, what's that smoke? Um, yeah, is, is more... Uh, high-paced uh, uh, psychedelic uh, action um, that still misses in this in, in this demo um, uh, and it, it will be a, an important part of the gameplay in, in further levels as well um, I, I don't want to spoil or say anything more about the next levels and, and what you will be doing there but they well they won't be in this house no, I can actually say something about these levels that this was quite a challenge because we have three completely different ways of uh, making a level design, doing level design. Because here there's a lot of organic stuff outside and the other levels are a completely different way of building these uh, levels. Yeah, and also from our experience the, uh, of, from Woven, uh, the whole level design was was environmentally um, so we we built uh, uh, huge uh, areas outside areas and for this game we have to build a lot of inside um, uh, areas which are which is totally different kind of um, um, level design also yeah so shall i go up yeah do it so the demo is a safe space. Well, not entirely. Not entirely, Amata. Hey. Okay, Hank. I think you wanted me to go here. So what is it you've been hiding away in the attic? Are you here? I need more light. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, uh, it's, it's, 
Some kind of plant? Oh, it's slowing down. Oh. Yeah, so the ending of this demo is a real bummer because I want to play more. <laughs> But uh, we'll keep that uh, as a surprise for when the whole game is uh, finished. Right. Yeah. So, um, so let's leave it at the uh, at the end screen for now and uh, and see if uh, people have any more questions. Um, it's uh, it's been an hour now, so uh, we think I think we have a little time for a little questions yet. You guys, you guys still. Still got the energy. Come on, give me yeah. a break. Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> um, so, if there was anything you want to ask the team um, in, in terms of what well, development, uh, story about, yeah, or, or platforms or anything, just uh, just let us know. Um, I've got some questions uh, that were asked us before, before the video went up. Um, so we might as well uh, answer them on, on video. Um, one is for you, Vincent. Yeah. Um, the thing in the game you are currently most proud of? Oh, that's a difficult one. Oh, let's get personal. <laughs> the, yeah, the most proud. Well, I think I'm most proud of actually a cooperation with Dominic, where we had the, the the way that these vines crawl and come and go, you know? There's actually, you just saw a glimpse of it in, in the end, but uh, that was technically quite challenging to make this, uh, yeah, to make it in such a way that as a, as a visual, visually you could just make it quite quite fast but technically it would still work we we had a few attempts in how to make plants grow and shrink it was also and, a really uh, good um, uh, way to figure out uh, or to to get better at um, approaching a, a problem from two sides because vincent uh, wants the vines in a in a particular way um, to to so they the the user has to interact with them in a particular way and stuff like that, and I had to build them in a particular way, and those uh, ways are aren't nece necessarily the same um, approach. So yeah. uh, uh, you always get a, a little bit of, of a struggle to, to uh, do you want it the development way or do you want it yeah. the visual way? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Both. both, both. We got both. We got both in this case. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. So that's actually something I'm quite proud of, and I really like the overall atmosphere of the game. I'm really proud of the tension you feel, and uh, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, I've got some more questions uh, t uh, coming in. So uh, Joshimini asks, "How are you guys?" Um, and Senor Rodriguez Tacos says, how has working remotely impacted working on this game? Um, um, so that yeah. might be combined into one answer for yeah. you, Dominic. <laughs> so how are we and how is remote work? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're all right. <laughs> now it's, um, I, I have to say, uh, for me personally, it's really difficult to, uh, to work remote uh, from home. I, uh, I noticed that the, uh, the way of development and the way of, of manage, managing uh, the development from, from a whole team is uh, quite different than when you, you are on the same uh, office. Normally I, I walk around some, from time to time, uh, I just have my coffee and, uh, and I walk around a bit and I, I look at all the stuff everyone is making and, and uh, you can comment on it. Uh, this is uh, shit, <laughs> or uh, this looks really good, uh, uh, or or maybe you can uh, <laughs> try it a little bit more like this. Try again, <laughs> maybe try anyway, again. Try try again <laughs> tomorrow. Stuff like that, you know. <laughs> now and yeah. um, 
uh, I don't have this control right now. So I, uh, uh, all the time I have to trust that this, the, the, the way I communicate to anyone in our team, um, I have to trust on me, on myself to, to communicate it correctly and on the team to absorb the, my, my, my wishes uh, in this case uh, correctly. And also the other way around. And um, you, you notice that uh, while the technique of, of Discord and chat uh, and, and online uh, meetings is... Uh, we're we're yeah. really happy that this exists <laughs> and, and yeah. works the way it does. Because if it didn't, we would, would be really screwed. Um, so we're it, it's it's working, but it's uh, it's uh, it's a challenge, and um, yeah. uh, luckily it doesn't in, uh, impact the, the the game itself on on, on the way uh, uh, of the, the quality or the length or the experience, but it does uh, put a little bit extra pressure on on us as a as a team, I believe. Yeah, and I think the. What what uh, what's lacking a little bit now we're all remote, is the the connection you can have with what other people are making because you you see it normally you see it daily you know you just walk around and you see stuff and you get inspired by other people's work, but yeah. now you you have to share it more you have to show more of your progress practice. or else yeah. you just what well, don't know what they're doing or what other people are creating and so this is actually really nice uh, that we're now making showing this because the whole team can see the game and can see all the little things that we added and stuff yeah so so since the demo is online it's one of the first moments that team and that, that the people in our team have actually been able to play the game so that's 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 strange but um mm. that's how, how it works now um we got another question. Um, can you say something about the length of the final game? So, because this demo is about an hour and a half to an hour, I would say. Depends and still on, missing uh, quite a bit of content that we that we're putting in. Um, what would the final game look like potentially? Uh, well, we we are planning uh, on making it between eight hours to twelve hours, depending on on how you play. Um, it's uh, uh, there. There is a lot of uh, there is a lot of content that you can dive in uh, if you like for a lot more uh, gameplay. Um, but that's about the average uh, time we're shooting for. So same as woven. Well, I th I think woven is um is a no, little bit longer. Is, is longer uh, mostly because woven. Uh, invites the player to to to, run. to to go a little more to the side and uh, Sandy of Morse is, is, is more of a tunnel <laughs> a really nasty focused tunnel that you have to <laughs> cross <laughs> in the and dark and hopefully survive <laughs> yes, with your yes, exactly. intact yes um, then we have Lady Manatee asking what has been the hardest part of the development so far so the hardest part yeah okay uh, well uh, for me technically technically um there's this system in this game and it's the main system for me uh, and it it is the detecting of light and that system is insane <laughs> because uh, you have to imagine that in a in a in a game engine you don't know if uh, light is falling on an object. There's no way to calculate uh, that. The, there are a lot of different ways to, to find out if it's uh, actually happening, um, but they are not necessarily uh, correct. So we, uh, uh, that combined with um, optimiz optimization uh, is 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 insane uh, is an insane system um, that has to work all the time because if it's dark I don't want the player to be able to interact with objects and if it's light I do want the player to be able to interact with objects um, and and that has to work infallibly um, 
because otherwise uh, enemies could see you when you're hiding in the dark. Um, that can't happen. We, we I, I don't want the player to be safe in the dark, uh, but he should be somewhat safe in the dark. Somewhat, somewhat safe. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we have to uh, have 100% uh, control uh, over the situation. So this, uh, this has been um, a really difficult system uh, for me, uh, next to the cinematic tools that we had to uh, develop uh, to, to, to create uh, a smooth uh, cinematic uh, moments in the game. Cool. Thank you. Um, Welcome. So I think we'll be working towards wrapping up the stream, um, if you guys agree. Um, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. If there are not any, if there are any burning questions, you'll have to type really fast, and we might just answer them. But if else, uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up here. Well, you can ask uh, any questions uh, at any time if you go to our Discord uh, channel. Like, we what have did you have for breakfast? Just yeah. ask it on the Discord, and we will answer. Yeah, uh, I think we'll put a link uh, in the chat um, uh, to our Discord server, and it's uh, doing that. Uh, Matt is doing that right now. Um, yeah. So, so everyone is, is is welcome, and uh, we're working really hard on uh, on uh, creating and, uh, and 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 developing the game. But we always have time for our players because that's who you do it for. Right. Um, yeah. So, right. uh, as you can see over here, the, the game Sandy of Morris is coming uh, somewhere this year, <laughs> late to 2020, the year of hell, um, on Steam, uh, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone. Um, and, and thank you guys for, uh, for sitting in the stream, for, for playing, and for your commentaries. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, I really um, enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, maybe nice. uh, see you guys next uh, next time. Yeah. Cool. Dominic, the honors of ending the stream are yours. I wish everyone a great day. Yeah, same. Oh uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. <laughs> well, have a good day. Bye. Bye bye.